This is a robot cleaner for your windows. It uses vacuum sealing technology to defy gravity, sticking to vertical windows and staying stuck even while it's navigating its way around the windows while spraying them with water. Look at the difference. That is actually really impressive. I feel like it has to be said, I am kind of sick of most smart home gadgets that are basically just normal gadgets, but with some kind of app that half the time makes everything take longer. So welcome to 12 of my favorite smart home gadgets that are actually smart. So for example, whenever you get wet and you want to dry yourself, ah, it's so cold. What do you do in this situation? Use a towel, of course. But then that's just one extra thing that needs to go in the wash. And if you have lots of people who want to dry themselves, then you're gonna need a lot of towels. So this company decided to use a different method, creating a platform that effectively fires negatively charged ions at the water molecules all over your body, breaking the actual H2O up on a molecular level. Oh yeah, and it's also a set of scales so you can weigh yourself. I do like how they've made these touchscreen controls usable with your feet. This feels so much nicer than toweling. But also, because it's not relying solely on evaporation, you can also switch to a cold air setting. Well that blew me away. Some dry humor for you. We just got hot, now let's get steaming with the portable automatic ironing machine, which starts off as this not so little box. When you want to use it, extends into, I guess what looks like some sort of alien life pod. <laughs> there is a T-Fal version of the same thing if you prefer the brand, but we saw this one on TikTok and it's my soulmate. So we've got one of the most horrendously crumpled shirts here. So you hook up an item on the inside, attach the clips to stretch it out, zip up the door, and then it uses six high pressure steam vents at the bottom to blast your item of clothing, smoothing out the wrinkles, a UV lamp to sterilize it, aromatherapy capsules to make it smell how you like, and then also a dryer. So let's turn it on and see what the shirt looks like when it's done. Okay, so we all own a table, right? And I imagine most of us also have a decent-ish selection of board games. So why not combine the two? This is the Infinity Game Table. And it's such a perfect concept because the dinner table or the coffee table in most houses is where the socializing happens. And so I think that there isn't a single better place to have games accessible at your fingertips. I should probably get rid of this one. Much better. So we've got a fairly solid set of metal legs. I'd say this is about an average looking table, but hey, it's all about this 32 inch impact and water resistant capacitive touchscreen display. And then under the hood, it's basically a custom designed games console designed to play a hell of a lot of board games. There's around 40 games pre-installed. There's some quick ones like tic-tac-toe and table football, which naturally works pretty well on a table. But then you can also just whack on a full on game of Monopoly if you're planning to stick around for a while. And I would say they've pulled it off kind of well. Some of the games do lack a bit of polish and they don't run at the absolute best frame rate, but it is just so convenient. There's zero setup, it's on in an instant. And the fact that the games are all digital has allowed the company to really creatively bring them to life. Like the table actually has rumble when you're rolling dice, for example. Plus, because this is basically a full-on computer, you can also save games and carry them on another day. And, this is so funny. You can even connect over the internet to play online versus your other smart table buddies. But let's be very honest, that is about as niche as features get. Still, this is an eight out of 10. Now, if I wasn't already warmed up enough by the dryer, this next product is gonna properly sort me out. This is the highest rated smart toilet seat on Amazon. And by smart, I don't mean like you can control this with Alexa. This is just actually clever. So for starters, it's heated, which when you first try it, does kind of feel like you're sitting on a seat that someone else has just got off, which is not the best mental picture. <laughs> but once you push past that, it's actually really freeing because it keeps you as warm as you would be with clothes, but just without them. Mr. Beast was not wrong when he recommended I get one of these, but there's more. It detects when you're done and uses ultraviolet to disinfect. It's got a baked in soft close mechanism. And then there's the bidet, which I mean, there is no nice way to describe this. It uses a powerful jet of water to clean your posterior more thoroughly than tissue paper alone. So we've got posterior mode, we've got feminine mode, turbo wash. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. When is it gonna stop? Well then, following your turbo wash, you can also use the heating unit on the inside to dry your butt. The only two downsides I would say is that A, you've gotta make sure it fits the style of your existing toilet, which I would not say this does. And B, it does also need to be connected to the mains, which is not something everyone has in their bathroom. But to be fair, it's not something that a sneaky extension cable can't fix. Happy B-Day to me.
I guess. Even with UV sterilization though, you are still gonna have to properly clean your toilet every now and again, which is where this next gadget comes in. This is the Giddel Toilet Cleaning Robot. And honestly, I think I speak for everyone when I say toilet cleaning is one job none of us would hate to automate. So, the robot is completely waterproof, it's made of antimicrobial plastic, and it's apparently designed to intelligently navigate its way around obstacles. But essentially, the idea is, let's just say you've eaten some really bad street food over the last few days, you just plug this robot into your toilet seat, click the on button, and then hit go. <laughs> Where are you going? It automatically adapts to the shape of your toilet bowl and scrubs every part of the inside of the toilet, including the rim, which you probably struggle to or forget to do with your hands. And if you're enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be a treat. I would say this is a 6 out of 10 gadget. It's very extra, and it's not really even a time saver, because cleaning the toilet yourself is a pretty quick process. But it's more the fact that it's extremely thorough with its cleaning, and also great for older people who might struggle to bend down all the time. And then once you're done with it, you just whack it into its dot over here. It's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Okay, time for a couple of quick simple gadgets before the big hitters. First up being the telescopic magnetic torch. And this gadget single-handedly solves the problem of finding your lost items. I and mean, for starters, it's an extremely bright torch to be able to see into the dark depths of your home and rediscover all that junk you lost 10 years ago. And it's got a little bendy neck at the top, which also means you can make it face whatever direction you want. And then it's also a magnet. So any screws, keys, pens you've got left under there, it'll suck them right up. And then if that magnet's not enough, there is a much stronger one on the other side. And then just as simple and practical, this thing right here is an automatic pan stirrer. So you know me, you know I love to optimize my time, right? Well, when you're cooking a complex dish and you just want one less thing to worry about, all you do is you stick this stirrer into one of your pans, push this button to turn it on, and it starts vibrating. The legs are shaped in such a way that this vibration then causes it to spin and bounce around the pan, mixing everything. And there's even three power settings depending on how thick your dish is. It's very thoroughly mixed that entire thing in about 30 seconds. It's definitely better at soups and curries than it is at like dense risotto, but when it works, it really does work. Okay, quick check in on the ironing. It's still in progress, but it looks very promising by how inflated this bag is. I'll tell you what though, it has warmed the entire room up. All right, time for the top five. Now, one of my favorite vibes of all time is just to be sitting next to a fire. I did a bonfire last year with my team and I can't tell you how much I love the warmth, the crackle and just the way it looks. It's so interesting. Well, the Spin 90 is basically all the best bits of fire with all the caveats taken away. So you can probably imagine I've been pretty excited to tell you about it. So for starters, I think it's the perfect size. It's small enough that it can easily fit onto one of your tables, but it's big enough that it still feels like a communal fire that people can gather around. And then the fire itself has a bit of a twist. There's no electronics here. It's a very simple case of you light the fluid at the bottom and we put the glass tube back on. The Spin 90 takes in air from the bottom and then channels it to move in this corkscrew-like path as it's drawn upwards through the glass cylinder, making the flame itself this magnificent spiral. Ah, oh, Simba! Hey, look what I've got here, look. Oh, he loves it. And you might have also noticed we're using this indoors. And that's because it runs on bioethanol that's completely odorless and smokeless. And then when you're done, slip the lid on and it extinguishes. This is at least an eight out of 10. Now, from the burning hot straight to the icy cold, the Cooper Cooler is advertised as the fastest way to cool your drink on a hot day. Okay, so two identical cans of Diet Coke. They've both been resting in a warm room all day, so they're sitting at around 22 degrees Celsius each. The way it works is you put some ice and water into the main chamber, you just put your can on top, close the lid, and just before I start that, we'll stick the other can in the fridge just to see the difference. Start. Wow, it's spinning it so fast. While spraying it with this ice cold water, which basically means that the water is at its coldest as it touches the can. And then as it draws out the heat from the can and gets warmer as a result, it then passes through the ice to cool itself down again before being recycled repeatedly. And then after two minutes, it stops. So the one we've been keeping in the fridge is at about 19 degrees Celsius. This one's at eight. That's literally colder than a fridge would be even if you left it in overnight. And probably the most surprising part of this is that even straight after that, you can actually just open it and drink it fine. It's not gonna explode. So I'd probably give this a seven. It's really good at what it does. It can do cans, it can do bottles, but for the vast majority of you, a fridge is still the most sensible way to cool your drink. 
Right, picture frame time. And this one's actually a collab that you never saw coming between furniture company IKEA and audio company Sonos. So, you stick it on a wall, just like you would a picture frame. It's got interchangeable artwork, so you can hop over to Etsy and get basically anything you want to put onto it. But it does only come with this one out of the box, which is not what I'd call a showstopper. But it achieves its purpose. Because it's also a full-on Sonos Wi-Fi speaker with all the app control that comes with that. Which is quite special, because it's one thing to have great sounding music coming out of a giant speaker tower, but it's a very different thing to have that speaker just blending in and being a natural part of the room itself. And it's better sounding than you'd think for such a thin frame. I describe the sound as crisp and bouncy and light. And maybe my favorite part of this is that you can actually daisy chain two of these next to each other and only need one power supply. This is an eight. So that's your relaxing cupboard. Time to upgrade your work life with the Moleskin Smart Writing Set. It's something my team and I have started doing recently is putting a lot of time into our video thumbnails. We very often sketch them out on a Samsung phone before taking the photos for them, for the sole reason that it means we can quickly share those drawings. But there is just something undeniably satisfying about making notes with real pen on paper. And the people at Moleskin knew this. I mean, fundamentally, this is a paper notebook and a pen, and a preposterously expensive one at that. But this pen connected to an app can actually send fully accurate recreations of each page straight to your phone. How? Well, this notebook is not the simple paper that it seems. Every single page is coated with an extremely fine mesh of dots across it. The dots allow the pen to understand where exactly it's writing and then send that information via Bluetooth to your smartphone. And this has more benefits than you think. The app can convert your written handwriting to digital text. You can search through your notes based on what's in them. The pen always knows exactly which page it's writing on, so everything is always gonna be in order. And then when you're done, you can literally email your entire page as a PDF in two clicks. And I was also quite surprised to see that the notebooks are not that expensive. Usually with products like this that kind of lock you into a closed ecosystem, you end up paying a hefty premium to stay in it. But once you've got the pen, replacement notebooks are like $20 for two. So how do we top that? Well, with probably the strangest gadget of this entire video. So, so far we've replaced your ironing boards, your picture frames, your table, your toilet seats. Well, how about your windows too? This is the Atmos 4K Virtual Window 2. It's a framed smart display that can show you any of over 1,500 looped surround sound views all taken by this company, Atmos. And that even includes fictional locations like from One Piece and Star Wars, but you don't need to do that. Probably my favorite thing about it is putting my own photos and videos onto it, and that's free. You're either gonna love it or hate it, because yes, this is not dissimilar to just sticking a TV onto your wall, but what makes this just a really nice vibe is all the little things. The specific matte coating on the screen, the window-like frame around the edges, the fact that with each scene you also get an entire soundscape that you can adjust to your liking. Okay, just before we check on the shirt then, I've got one bonus gadget here from Insta360. It's called The Link, and it's basically built to be the solution to video calls that look like this. It's full 4K resolution, and because the camera sensor is multiple times the size of most laptop webcams, it lets in way more light for clarity. I mean, the video right now is being recorded on this webcam, and the other benefit of it being separate to your inbuilt camera is that it can move. You just raise your hand, the camera will blink three times to let you know it's in AI tracking mode, and it's actually wild seeing it in action. You have to try really hard if you actually wanted to lose it. And even if I step away, it's just gonna automatically zoom in on me. It's got overhead mode that lets you show what's happening on your desk, portrait mode that lets it record full on vertical video for social media. The movement even means that the camera can turn to look away from you when it's inactive so that you can be 100% sure that no program or website is spying on you. And then the cherry on top is phase detection autofocus. So even if I bring a really intricate object in front of me, the focus just snaps right to it. Check out the Insta360 link at the link in the description. So, this has taken a total time of 30 minutes, which is not quick. I am super impressed by how well it works though. And the shirt is bone dry, and it smells great.